All right, this is the last call. It's the last call. These are the final hours of the School of the Spirit flash sale. Go to schoolofthespirit.tv, get 70% off all courses. This does not include the schools. There's a wait list for open enrollment for the schools. And there's a lot of bells and whistles coming. There's a lot of surprises coming for the school students. School of Prayer, School of Spiritual Warfare, School of the Seers, School of Deliverance, School of Prophecy. It's all transferring to the new site. And there's lots of cool bells and whistles, lots of perks, lots of new stuff coming down the pike. So track with me. While you can, though, grab those courses while they're there. Once they're gone, they are gone. You'll have access to them forever, but they'll be stored away not accessible to the public anymore. With that, let's get into today's podcast. Last week, I shared just a clip from one of the School of Prayer classes called Militant Intercession. And I remember I was on a prayer broadcast, my morning prayer broadcast, Mornings with the Holy Spirit. And we just entered into this militant intercession flow. I began to pray for militancy. And this is what we need in this hour. So listen, Prayer is caught and taught, which is why on this podcast, I teach and then I demonstrate with some prayer, with some, you know, practical applications. We kind of go back and forth. And this podcast is just going to keep getting better as we begin to introduce guests who have something to say that I find valuable for your ears. But stick with me. Make sure that you subscribe to this podcast as we enter in, listen into this prayer, catch the spirit of it, catch the spirit of this prayer. Listen in. God, would you help us today to pray effective prayers? Oh, the effective, fervent prayers of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, dynamic in its working. God, we want to pray without ceasing, but we don't want to pray ineffectual prayers. We don't want to pray prayers that don't touch your heart. We don't want to pray prayers that don't move your spirit. We want to pray effective prayers, prayers that get answers, prayers that overcome prayers that change situations, prayers that bring your will to the earth as it is in heaven. God, we want to pray rightly because we know that you delight in the prayers of the righteous and we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So help us to pray from a position of victory. Help us to pray from the knowledge of the holy. Help us to pray with an understanding that you hear and answer prayer. If we pray anything according to your will, you will hear us. And if you hear us, you will answer us. So help us to pray in line with your will, oh God. Help us not to pray based on our own desires only, but to pray based on your desire always. We want to pray what you want us to pray. So inform our prayers, oh God. Help us to pray because we don't know how to pray as we ought. Help us to pray because sometimes we can't see which way is up, but the Holy Spirit, he helps us. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit, you sent the Holy Spirit, you sent the Holy Spirit to help us in our weakness because we don't know how to pray as we ought, but we need to know. We need to know what's on your heart. We need to know what is the will of the Lord. We need to understand how you want us to utter, how you want us to war, how you want us to decree, declare, and proclaim. We need to know. So put your words in our mouth. Put your prayer in our mouth. Help us, Lord, to get our will in line with your will. Give us a Holy Ghost adjustment and help us to stop praying idle prayers, ineffectual prayers, random prayers. Lord, help us to stop making wishful prayers and help us to start making faith filled, Holy Ghost inspired intercession for ourselves, our family, our nations. God, we want to stand in the gap with accuracy. We want to stand in the gap with efficacy. We want to stand in the gap with authority. We want to stand in the gap knowing that we are making a difference. We don't want to waste our breath, God. Oh, Jesus. We don't want to waste our prayer time, Jesus. We want to pray with accuracy, with efficacy, with an understanding of what you 
your will is God. We want to pray prophetic prayers, prayers that are informed by the Holy Spirit, prayers that carry the power and the anointing of God Almighty to change situations in the earth. In the name of Jesus, God, help us to pray. We need your help, Jesus. Help us to pray without ceasing. Help us to pray always. Help us to pray uh, with a, a revelation of your will, a revelation of your glory, a revelation of your power, a revelation of your ability and your willingness to answer us. Your arm is not too short that you can't reach down and deliver us. Your ear is not deaf and your eye is not blind. Nothing gets by you. You see everything. You see us in the trial. You see us in the struggle. You see the nations in turmoil. You see governments in corruption. You see it all and you want to see your will be done and your kingdom come. You want to see souls saved, bodies healed, lives restored, marriages repaired. Jesus, would you help us to be about your business in the realm of prayer? Because prayer is the prerequisite. Prayer must come first. Prayer, 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 and prayer, and prayer, and more prayer. Jesus, would you help us enter into dimensions of prayer that we've never even known existed? Would you help us to enter into the prayer without ceasing, the praying in tongues more than all? Would you help us, Lord, today to enter into realms and dimensions of intercession that we are that are strangers to us? We, we They're not strange, but they're strange to us because we've not been there yet. We want to go deeper in prayer. We want to go higher in prayer. We want to go wider with our prayer. We don't want to pray superficially, God. Help us. Help us. We want to be effective. We want to be effective in our prayer like Moses. We want to be effective in our prayer like Nehemiah. We don't want to do anything without having a conversation with you first, Jesus. We don't want to have do anything without getting your insight, getting your, uh, uh, your, your advice, getting your strategy. We want to do anything. We want to be effective. We want our prayers to be active in the spirit. We want our prayers to compel your heart to move. We want our prayers to be direct and to the point. We don't have to be flowery and speak in the queen's English to move your heart. We just have to honor you and pray to you as the one who has all the answers and the one who's willing to help us in a time of need. We, our prayers don't need to be impressive. They need to be potent. Our prayers don't need to be uh, uh, eloquent. They need to be powerful. Oh, thank you, Jesus, that you help us, Lord, to release the sound of our voice in prayer because you will bow your ear down to hear us. Your ear is open to our prayers. So help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to be effective. Help us, Lord, to be efficient. Help us, Lord. Oh, Jesus, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. So help us, Lord. Give us prayer stamina. Help us, Lord, to pray and pray and pray and pray and push and press until we see the answer. Not to grow weary in well praying, because we know we're going to see a harvest of answers. We know we're going to see the breakthrough manifest. We know we're going to see the miracle in motion. We know we're going to see the deliverance completed. We know we're going to see the healing come to pass. Thank you, Jesus. That prayer moves the hand that moves the world. So help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to use our intercession to influence circumstances in the natural that are not in line with your will. Lord, let us be dynamic in prayer. Let us be forceful in prayer. Let us be successful prayer operatives in the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. You're sitting at the right hand of the Father even now, ever making intercession for us. You're still praying. You're still praying. You're still praying. You're not doing all the things you did on the earth anymore. Many of the things you did, you're not doing, but you're still praying. You're still praying. You're still praying. Make us capable prayer warriors, God. Make us capable prayer warriors, God. Make us successful in prayer, God. Effectual, able, lively, forcible, energetic, convincing, God. We want to see your will done and your kingdom come. So use us as your battle axe. Use us as your as your instrument of war. Oh, Jesus, help us, Lord, not to grow weary, not to back up, not to burn out, but to stand and withstand in the evil day and 
when we've done all we can stand and know that we will see the salvation of the Lord. We will see the miracle working power. We will see the prayer answers. We will see, we will see, we will see, and we're going to see it before we have it. We're going to believe it before we have it. We're going to confess it before we have it. And we're going to keep praying. Men always ought to pray and faint not. We're going to be like the, like the widow with the unjust judge. And we're going to keep praying and keep praying day and night, night and day, day and night, night and day until we see your will done in the nations. It's not just about us. It's not just about our family. It's about our city. It's about the souls. It's about the nations. It's about the wars and rumors of wars. God, we want to be effective in the realm of intercession. So please, God, put a prayer spirit upon us, the spirit of prayer upon us, an anointing to pray upon us, a burden to pray upon us. We receive it in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, today that you are raising up a new breed of intercessors who will pray without ceasing, who will look the enemy in the eye and cause him to back up in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you are raising up a new breed of intercessors who understand how to push until something happens, how to pray until until we see the answer. I thank you, Lord, for this new breed of Akataraboshe. And the Lord would say to you today, I am calling forth militant intercessors in this hour, for I already recruited you as soldiers in the army of God. But now I am activating you into new assignments, says the Lord. And that militancy that I have put upon you, that determination that I have graced you with, you will need it, says the Lord, for my kingdom does suffer violence, violence from antichrist spirits, violence from unbelief and fear and shame, violence from principalities and powers, territorial demons in the nations. But the violent will take it by force and I'm putting a spirit of Holy Ghost violence upon you to invade nations, to invade families, to invade workplaces and cities with my will, with my grace, with my love, with my power. Oh, it's not the kind of violence that the world sees. It's kingdom violence. It's violence that tears apart the enemy's plans, says the Lord. It's violence that pushes the enemy out of an atmosphere, says the Lord. It's kingdom violence. It's love. It's joy. It's peace in the Holy Ghost. So let me raise you up, says the Lord. I am making you militant. I am calling you to the battle line. I am saying now is the time to arise and fight for what I've called you to fight for. Don't fight any battle, says the Lord. Fight my battle, says the Lord. Don't allow yourself to be distracted by what the enemy wants to put in front of your face, says the Lord. But seek my face and I will give you your assignment and you will be successful when you follow my leadership, says the Lord. I am raising up militant intercessors who have a grit, who have a determination, who have an occupation in prayer and I will grace you and anoint you to stand and withstand until you see the victory, says the Lord. Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We say yes to your call. We will respond to your heart. I urge you, get involved, equip yourself. Listen, the times we're coming into, you need to invest in yourself. Our schools are so affordable. If you would just cut out two Starbucks a month, you could get equipped. (laughs) I'm not even kidding. Please value your education, your activation, and your impartation. Get to schoolofthespirit.tv. Grab what you can while it's there at 70% off. If you missed it, you missed it. But the good news is we've got a whole new paradigm. I've got about 40 new courses. We've got all the schools that are going to open for enrollment. School of Prayer, School of Prophecy, School of Deliverance, School of Spiritual Warfare, School of the Seers. And we've got some new bells and whistles, some surprises coming through. So spread the word and ask me about our affiliate program. I'll talk to you more about that later, but you can actually share our courses and earn money to get your courses free. These are some of the cool things that we're doing going forward because you're my faithful followers and I'd love to see you get everything free. All you got to do is share it. When people grab the courses through your link, you're going to get rewarded. And you could get everything free. That's a cool deal. Wait for it. It's coming soon. Ask about it if you can't find it. If you don't, make sure you're on my email list, guys. Listen, I love you. Hope you caught that. Have a breakthrough day.